dear students so in this video we are going to uh, solve a problem for determining the stresses acting in a CST element under loading condition okay, so this is the problem statement for the plane stress element having its coordinate positions 0 0 30 0 and 15 40 the nodal displacements are directly given in the problem u1 v1 u2 v2 and u3 v3 Determine the maximum and minimum principal stress values, also the principal angle. Let x model's value is 210 gigapascal, Poisson's ratio is 0.25 and the thickness value of the given element is 10 mm and all the coordinate positions are given in millimeter. Okay. So for determining the maximum and minimum principal stress values as well as principal angle, first we have to calculate the stress components acting in x, y and shear direction. Okay. So we know that the stress matrix can be directly calculated using the formula the multiplication of the matrices D, B and U, D, B, U. Okay. So for plain stress condition the stress strain relationship matrix D can be calculated using this formula E by 1 minus nu square into the matrix 1 nu 0 nu 1 0 0 0 1 minus nu by 2 where E is the Young's modulus and nu is the Poisson's ratio. So the Young's modulus value has actually given and the problem with the unit gigapascal. So all the units have to be substituted in the formula with the same unit. So I have uh, converted the Young's modulus value to Newton per mm square. Okay, so the value of u e in terms of Newton per mm square is 210 into 10 power 3. Okay, so by substituting the values of e and Poisson's ratio in the formula, we will be arriving at this result. So this is the D matrix for a given case. So then B, B matrix is nothing but the strain displacement matrix. So for calculating the stress induced matrix, we have to calculate this matrix also. So the known formula for finding out the B matrix is 1 by 2A and this matrix. So what A is the area of the element which can be directly calculated using this formula that is 1 by 2 into determinant 1 x 1 y 1, 1 x 2 y 2 and 1 x 3 y 3. So all the coordinate positions of the given CST are known. So by directly substituting the coordinate positions, we will be arriving at the area as 600 millimeters square. Okay. So Q1, Q2, Q3 and R1, R2, R3 formulae are well known just by substituting the respective coordinate positions we can calculate the values q1 q2 q3 and r1 r2 r3 so in the second nodal position the y component is 0 and in the third nodal position the y component is 40 so y2 minus y3 is 0 minus 40 that is minus 40 so likewise we can calculate all the values and substitute here to express the B matrix. Okay. So the stress matrix can be now calculated by multiplying the D, B, and U matrices. Okay. So D matrix has been calculated, B matrix has been calculated, and the displacement matrix components are given in the problem. So first by multiplying the constant values out of the matrices that is 224,000 into 1 by 1200 we will be arriving at this value 186.6667 and by keeping the first matrix as it is and by multiplying the second and third matrices so the size of the second matrix is 3 cross 6 and the size of the third matrix that is the displacement matrix is 6 plus 1. So the product of these two matrices will have the size of 3 plus 1. Okay. So that is minus 180, 15, minus 27.5 and secondly by multiplying the B matrix and the resultant matrix of 
the mul multiplication of uh, matrices B and U, we will be arriving at the stress matrix sigma x sigma y tau x one like this minus thirty two thousand nine hundred newton per mm square along x axis minus five thousand six hundred newton per mm square along y axis and minus thousand nine twenty five newton per mm square along the shear direction. So now with the aid of these values we can directly calculate the values of maximum minimum principal stresses and principal angle. So the formula for maximum principal stresses sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 the whole square plus tau x y square. Okay, Just by substituting the predicted values we can calculate the sigma 1 that is maximum principal stress value. Similarly, for sigma 2 the well known formula as sigma x plus sigma y by 2 minus root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 the whole square plus tau x y square. So the resultant value is minus 33,035.0689 Newton per mm square. And the formula for principal angle tan 2 theta p is equal to 2 tau x y by sigma x minus sigma y where theta p is the principal angle. So by substituting the known values that is sigma x sigma y and tau x y values we will be arriving at this result that is principal angle theta p is 4.01 degree.